NCC family, thanks so much for taking the time to be with me as we continue our study on 1 Corinthians chapter 13. What a beautiful and profound passage this is. Paul really outdid himself when he wrote this, and it seems that we could study this whole chapter forever and ever and never fully grasp it. Let's read 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 through 7. It says this, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, and it always perseveres. So today we're focusing on how love always protects. And we may hear this phrase a lot, but what does it really mean that love protects? Interestingly enough, it doesn't have a simplistic meaning or a cookie cutter kind of answer. Other translations of the scripture here say that love endures all things, meaning that love suffers and it bears all things. Love covers, it covers closely and it acts like a protective shield around others, guarding them from exposure, just as the Lord divinely covers each of us. I can't help but picture in my mind how much this is like Wonder Woman or Captain America, who both use a shield to save and protect the vulnerable in their respective fictional movies. Maybe you've seen them. I had a wonderful example of this sort of protective, enduring, suffering love in my own upbringing. My mom is one of the most loving women that I know, and consistently throughout my childhood, she would put herself in harm's way to protect my siblings and I from any sort of danger. She definitely has that mama bear instinct. Long story short, she even protected my sister from a serious injury on a vacation, to the point where she sacrificed her own body and endured a broken ankle so that my sister would be saved. Ask me more about the story sometime and I'd love to tell you. This is what love does. See, love rises up to protect others, to shield them with our words, with our actions. And we do this because it is exactly what the Lord does for us. He covers us. This sort of love is the opposite of leaving people exposed or vulnerable because of our words or our actions. It never seeks to harm or to uncover someone, but it always keeps in mind the honor of the other person. I am certainly convicted by understanding this concept of how love protects and endures more, and I have been asking myself some questions based on it. Do I practice this sort of enduring, protective, and shielding sort of love with those around me? Or do I seek to harm or expose others when I see that they have vulnerabilities and flaws just like I do? As we dwell on how the Lord rises up to shield and to protect us in our sin and our failures and our brokenness, Let's be people who do the same for others.